Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make your own baby bib. They're so easy to make and there's so many cute flannel prints out there that you can use. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. So first I have a pattern. Now this is a download you can get off our site. So there's two pieces to it. You also need fabric. Now I'm going to be using flannel, but you don't have to use flannel. Just make sure that it's something that's washable and that you wash it before you cut anything out. So you wanna make sure if it shrinks, you get that out of the way first. Now I just got 3 eighths of a yard and that gets me about two bibs. You need some bias tape. This is the double folded bias tape and it's the really skinny one. So this is a quarter inch in width. Some Velcro, definitely use the sew-in Velcro. It's gonna make it a lot easier. And I'm using the two inch width because we're gonna use this pattern piece to cut it out. You need to make sure that it's gonna be wide enough some all-purpose thread, some fabric needles and pins, and scissors. And the last thing not shown here is going to be your sewing machine. Out of the main bib pattern, you're gonna cut two out of your fabric, and out of the Velcro, we're gonna cut this little piece right here. So I've separated my two Velcro. So you have the scratchy side, that's the hook side, and then you have the loop side, and that's the softer side. So both of these are right side facing up. My pattern's right side facing up. I'm gonna cut one out of this side and one out of this side. If you wanna embellish your bib, do it at this point. You can do embroidery like I have. Watch our tutorial on how to do hot iron transfer and I show you how to do a few stitches. You can do fabric applique. We also have a tutorial for that. Or you just have really cute fabric. You don't really have to do anything at all. Now, if you are gonna do it, make sure you have it right side up whenever you do your embellishment. So you're just doing it to one of your bibs and you can see I'm doing it to the one that has the cut on this side. Place both your bib pieces right side up. Also the Velcro pieces should also be right side up and you can see I have paired each side with each side. Now for the one that's gonna be on front, this is gonna be the top part of the bib, I place the softer side of the Velcro, so the loop side, and then the hook side is gonna go with the back side. You're just gonna take each piece and you're gonna match it with the cut edge. So this raw edge should match up. Go ahead and pin it and then we'll take it to our machine to stitch it into place. Make sure your Velcro and fabric pieces are right sized together. And I'm just using a regular thread and sewing at a quarter inch seam allowance. Don't forget to back stitch. After I sew the Velcro on, I'm gonna make sure the seam allowance stays closed and it's gonna be pressed towards the bib. You're gonna take both bib sections and you're gonna place them so they're wrong side to wrong side. Like this, and you'll notice that my Velcro are on the opposite side. So after I line everything up, I'm gonna pin around the whole perimeter of my bib and we're gonna take it to the machine so we can base these pieces together. The basting stitch is going to be the longest stitch on your machine, and I'm just doing it a quarter of an inch away from the raw edge. Now, if you need to, take your time going around the curvy areas. Next, you're gonna take your double folded bias tape and we're gonna attach it around the whole perimeter of the bib. So I have it right side up, and you're gonna see that it's folded in half. You can unfold it, and then you'll see it's folded on each side. You're just gonna unfold one side. You wanna lightly press it, you can. Take this raw edge, the short end, you're gonna fold it over on itself about a quarter of an inch, and then we're gonna start pinning so the raw edge is lined up with the raw edge. Now, when you're going around the curvier areas, putting on bias tape is a little bit trickier. Bias tape does stretch a little bit. So if I pull it, you can see it does have a little bit of stretch. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. So when doing the curvy areas, usually, especially the really curvy ones, just stretch it a little bit, pin it, stretch it a little bit more, pin it. So all I'm doing is putting a bunch of pins in these areas and that'll help a little bit. So just finish pinning it and then we're gonna take it to our sewing machine and you're gonna sew right inside this crease here. When you come back around, this part of the bias tape is just gonna lie flat. You don't need to fold it like you did with this bottom one. So it just needs to overlap by another quarter to half inch. I also wanna just show you my curved areas. 
So up here, this is the most curvy, so it's the most difficult. Now you'll notice it doesn't lie flat. We have some wavy actually going on here. This doesn't matter. As long as the crease area where we're gonna be sewing is flat, that's the most important thing. So that's what you need to get right, and it's gonna make it easier for when you sew it. I'm doing a regular line stitch right in that crease on my bias tape. So I'm using that as my guideline. Now again, with those curvy areas, you want to take your time if you need to. I like to take my time and I've been sewing for a very long time. And if you need to, you do a couple of stitches, put your needle down, lift up your foot, and you can kind of correct it so that way you can stay more on track. But just take your time is usually the best method. Next we're going to be taking our bias tape and we're going to be flipping it over so it's on the back side of the bib as well. But before I do that, a good idea, especially for the curved areas, where we have this Velcro section, you should clip little notches, you can see here, in the seam allowance. Be careful not to cut your stitches and that'll help it lie a little bit flatter once everything is flipped over. Also, if you need to, you can trim your seam allowance a little bit and that'll help cut down on the bulk. So you're gonna take this folded edge, you're gonna flip it over. So we have a fold here on the edge and if we looked at the back side you can see you have a folded edge here too. So this should go over your stitches that you did when you sewed on the bias tape. And if you need to, you can go ahead and pin that into place because we're gonna be sewing that next. I'm going to sew the back of my bias tape to the back of my bib. So I'm gonna do this by hand by doing a slip stitch. So I'm pulling up my bias tape a little bit just so I can stick my needle and come out right on that fold. And I'm using a contrasting thread, but you definitely wanna use a matching thread. It's just easier for you to see what I'm doing if I do it this way. Okay, so it's coming out of the fold. Then I'm going to grab a little bit of my fabric and you're just grabbing just a little bit because we don't wanna see it on the right side. So you really wanna be careful. And then I'm gonna pull the bias tape and the ends together. So there's my first stitch. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the bias tape and then grab the fabric. So you're just going between the two sides. Now, if you're asking yourself, well, why can't I just sew this by machine? You definitely can. It's definitely a lot faster. I don't think it looks as neat, but that's always an option as well. Just to talk briefly about top stitching. So this is one of the first bibs that I created and you can see I have a top stitch around here. So I went ahead and did this with a machine. I just want to point it out because it looks nice on the front of my bib, but if I was to look on the back, it's not quite as even. The reason is, is because the bias tape that you get prepackaged sometimes isn't necessarily folded evenly. So while it's symmetrical on top, on the back, it might be a little bit thicker. So that's why it'll get like that. But if you're in a hurry and you just want to do it quickly, that's an option. Now. As a different example, here's my other one. Looks nice on the front and then on the back where I did all the hand sewing, you can barely even see my stitches. Here we have my completed bib. Bias tape is along the edges. I have Velcro on the front on this side and it's on the other side on the back. So I could bring it together and close up the bib. Let's go ahead, take a quick look at the back. That's what it looks like on the back. So that's all there is to it, to making your own baby bib. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at professorpincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.